feel like I should have one of those little things that they have in acting where you click the board and this is uh, take number whatever, because right now I'm probably on take number 10. Um, I'm not used to doing this and recording, and, and uh, but I wanted to give you guys an update on how this morning went. We did really well. Um, Gus and Sensei showed in their class together. Gus came out on top again. He did wonderful. He's really showing well. Sensei, they're two different styles of dogs, and it just depends on what that judge prefers. And uh, so Frankie was the only dog in his open class. So the winners of each class go back in for winner's dog. Um, Frankie ended up winning today. He got the winner's dog, really proud of him. A few more points towards his title. Um, kind of was hoping to, to almost finish Gus or Sensei, but sometimes it's not how it happens. Um, but I'm thrilled though that Frankie got the points. And uh, then going back for best of breed, I took Sonny because he's a champion already. So he went in against the winner's dog, which was Frankie and the winner's bitch, uh, which I think was Achi, who belongs to Peggy Nettle. And uh, Sonny ended up winning best of breed and best of breed owner handler. So he got four more points towards his grand championship. Um, if I was off showing somewhere where I had a hotel room and I was staying there all weekend, I'd probably come back to the group and show later in the day for trying for best to show. But I've got family in town. I've got a kennel to take care of, which I just talked to my husband and God bless his heart. He's up there cleaning the kennel for me and my son's fixing to be there to help him. So um, I'm blessed that I, I have people in my life that, are, that help me when I need it. And uh, so we're headed home. And if you can see the dogs in the back, they're all crashed out. They're tired. It's been a long morning. I got there two hours early because I, I worry that I'm going to be scrambling. Yesterday, I lost my whole organizer that had my leashes, my show leashes, and I was just a mess yesterday morning. And turns out, I think my Rhodesian drug it outside because I found it in the bushes outside of the kennel. Um, I had some bait left over from the show in it and I think she got a whiff of that and decided she was going to help herself so she just took it outside the kennel and it was in the bushes so it was like Christmas day yesterday when I found it but um, anyhow we have tomorrow we show bright and early at 8 a.m. Um, and we're the first breed I believe to show so we'll get done and be probably be heading home by 9 a.m. But I just want to thank everybody who has been involved with helping me on this venture. Uh, you know, I don't know how many of you know it, but we've been breeding uh, Jack Russell's Russell Terriers in my family for probably 35 plus years easily between my mom and I. And it was sort of accidental that I became involved uh, in 2008, mom. Uh, got very sick she became septic and there was no one to step in and, and assist with the dogs and I, I don't want to say take over but it was kind of like that because um, she the wind was knocked out of her sails for a couple of years and so I did that and I fell in love with this I never thought I would enjoy this as much as I enjoy horses but that started this this addiction, I guess you could say, of, of what I do, showing, well, not showing, now, now I've got an addiction for showing, I think, and buying dogs, because um, we've been adding some really nice dogs to the breeding program, and I want to infuse them into our, our butterball lines that we've preserved all these years, and I, and I just want to try to breed to the breed standard and produce phenomenal dogs that you guys absolutely love owning. I want them to be great family members, um, but at the same time, uh, be able to hopefully, you know, encourage some of my customers to get involved with showing. It doesn't have to be confirmation. I know we have customers that compete in Fast Cat, um, customers that enjoy agility, and that's fantastic. And and because of the people that have helped me, it's very encouraging. I think if they were mean and rude, well, I've heard that there are some breeds that are difficult to get into, but I will 
will say my my experience so far has been nothing but positive. I would love to see the shows grow with more competitors down here, but um, we're creating majors. Um, we have wonderful weather all year long. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun and there's a lot of people that I am very grateful for their help and they know it. I've made sure I've expressed that to them. And, uh, and the judges who have pinned my dogs, um, I appreciate everything about that. Judges that are warm and welcoming, that makes it pleasant too. So I know I'm babbling on and turning this into a very long video, but I just wanted to share with you guys how we're doing and, and you know, where we're evolving to and like I posted on my page the other day, um, I've got a female coming in next week that is already a champion and she's close to a grand championship so I'm excited about showing her and um, I bought Sunny's full sister. She will um, join us in January. I'm going to fly up to Memphis and pick her up. And in February, I will have two new little ones. Well, they'll be four months old, but they'll be arriving from France. Uh, I'm so happy and pleased with Sensei and his breeders are phenomenal and very kind people and honest people. And they had a lovely litter of puppies that I saw and I just could not, couldn't say no. Um, so, They'll be flying in when they're, I think, about four months old. They have to, I believe, have their rabies vaccines done and, and a passport to fly over. So I'll be taking a trip to Atlanta. The breeder's kind enough to fly over with them like she did with Sensei and Sangria. Um, so I appreciate you guys following us and um, you, you've, bless me with the opportunity to do what I love and I appreciate that and you guys have a great day it's beautiful here in Florida and I hope it's beautiful everywhere else um, I don't know how you guys up north handle the cold uh, I, I can't stand it I mean I just I, I want to burrow in a blanket and, and keep my head popped in like a turtle it's too cold um, but we will touch base with y'all tomorrow. We've got that show in the morning, all right? Y'all have a great day. Thanks for following us.